Africa New Day wants to minister in the areas of education, equipment, and empowerment. And we do that through five different branches. One is the media. Why media? Because in 94, if you know anything about the genocide, it was actually started by people going on the media, spreading hate messages. And that's how you get you know, one tribe attacking another and causing the death of 800,000 people within 100 days. Now, if media was used to cause so much devastation, then sure enough, we can use media to have the reverse effect. Because what we're experiencing in Eastern Congo is none other than the situation of the genocide in Rwanda that was never properly resolved. Those assailants actually moved to Eastern Congo. So our goal now is to spread a message of peace, hope, and reconciliation, and not a message of hatred. And so we've seen that happen through the media. And as we are doing the work in the media, we also realize that this is a place that is very difficult for women and children, especially because of the rape and sexual violence. So we started this ministry that we called Virtuous Women. So initially, it was actually uh, our intent was to help the women uh, overcome that situation mentally and spiritually. So we would take them in th through Bible studies, prayer, spend time with them, and reaffirm the sense that God still has a plan for their lives, that the rape and some of the horrific situations they went through was not the end of their story. And as we are doing that, we realize that most of the women were actually coming with their children to the sessions. And we thought, well, these kids need to be in school. But, you know, realize that we are in a country where uh, unemployment is more than 90% in the formal sector. So they don't have the means to send their kids to school. And so we started the program that we called Generation Hope, which is basically giving an opportunity to children to go to school. So we pay tuition, school supplies, and we have an after school program where we teach them leadership because they don't have the luxury to wait until they're adults to be leaders. They have to be leaders even now as they are children. So there's about 250 children that are going to school and we pay for their uh, tuition and more than 600 kids that come to our after to school program. And as we were doing that, ministering in the media, the children and the women, we then realized that the numbers of or the incidents of rape kept increasing. So we wondered what are we doing wrong or what are we not doing that so many women are still being victims of these atrocious situations. And that's how we developed the ministry that we call the Sons of Congo, which was basically how do we reach the hearts of men? Because more than 95% of the perpetrators are men. So what is being done for the men of Congo so they can stop that? And so we developed a curriculum and uh, 16 lessons, brought men in small groups, and we said, well, let's see. Uh, in the curriculum, we talk about many issues, you know, like leadership, sex, and family, and uh, development, and all that. And we were privileged to see how God is actually changing the hearts of men. The program is called the Rising of the Sons of Congo, and Sons of Congo in short. And then finally, we realized that Africa's problem has to do with leadership. A continent that is so blessed with mineral resources and so many other potential is not rising for one reason, because we have people who don't have that mindset of servant leadership. So in other words, that every time somebody is in any kind of position of authority, he's looking after himself and his immediate circle and they don't have the vision to actually bring everybody up. So we started this uh, initiative that we call the Leadership Academy, which is giving a training of six months, uh, about six months to uh, uh, people from all walks of life who come and learn these leadership principles. And what we ask them at the end of the course is not that they would actually just take an exam and tell us how much they know about leadership. What we ask them is that at the end of the program, in fact, during the entire six months training, is that they will get together in small groups, they will go into the community, find a problem, and then apply the principles that we taught them. So these are the five branches of our ministry. We minister to the media, uh, women, children, and uh, the Leadership Academy, and also the uh, Sons of Congo program for the men.